After sharing my 60 hour review and ultimate beginner guide for Enshrouded, there is still so much to do. Earlier today, I also shared 15 hacks you want to know to not survive but thrive in Enshrouded. With this new follow up guide though, we're gonna continue the adventure and unlock all the craftsmen. So ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Foram and in today's guide, we're gonna unlock the archer, the carpenter, the alchemist, as well as the farmer. So you will gain access to inventory upgrades like better backpacks, magical storage, a whole lot of new gear to craft and so much more. Even if you already unlocked some or maybe even all of them, there is still a lot of treasure to be found during the process, which you don't want to miss out on. So in today's guide, I got you covered. Let's get right to it. So the first two which you can find in your quest log are Powerful Alchemy and Hunter Becomes the Hunted. So let's start off with the Hunter as I think this is the most important one to pick up first as it gives you access to expanding your inventory. Very important upgrades right there. So um, let's quick travel to the Spire and glide to distant lands. Be sure to eat some snacks. This is what you want to focus on. If we open up the map, it's to the east of, of course, the ancient spire Springlands, the ancient vault called Hunter. In front of the entrance, you're going to find a couple savage Wookiees. <laughs> I don't know, man. They definitely remind me of Chewbacca, but um, you first want to deal with those, while after that, you will find this place filled with, well, traps. So you just want to run past these when you have the time for it. And then we arrive at this room. Very important, you need to have grappling hook unlocked for this mission. If you haven't done so yet, be sure to check out my beginner's guide in the top right of the screen. Anyways, right here, you also want to look at the side as this is where you can find a little button if you shoot at it. And right behind us, we also have another button right there. To reach it, you want to use your grappling hook and basically jump to this little fence, grab it and then climb up the platform to activate the button. The final button can be found right here, which is actually pretty easy to reach. You just want to open the door. You can use your grappling hook right here. Well, first, of course, we want to gather that sweet loot inside the golden chest. Voila, look at that, a ring of stamina, which I think is an amazing one to equip. Anyways, next up, we want to use our grappling hook, get across and get upstairs. Make your turn as this is where you will find the hunter's location. So there we go. We awakened Athalan the hunter and of course got our hands on plenty more blueprints, including some new gear to craft at the base. So let's get back to it. Keep it brief. Yes, yes, I plan to make this guide as efficient as possible. If you like it so far, ladies and gentlemen, smash that like button, which helps out the channel big time. So now we have a new quest, Finding Salt. She will add this to the map. This is basically where it is, a salt mine. But trust me, guys, I have a much quicker, easier way to getting your hands on a ton of salt in no time, which is very accessible from the early game. You don't need a glider for it, but it will make the trip even faster. I mean, I am still explaining it, but we are already there. I mean, look at this spot. I think it's an amazing one. So take out your pickaxe and start mining. So you only have to spend a couple seconds in there, while this is where you can also always pick up a nice item. So only a couple meters away from your base to the northeast is where you will find this tower. And from it, you can even quick travel back to your home because it's not inside enshrouded territory. Here we go. That's our fourth dried fur. If we now visit the archer, we can make the small backpack. Four dried fur, five strings, and also three torn cloth. If you combine this, you will get this nice upgrade with plus eight slots. We currently have 24, but if you upgrade it, that's another full bar, which you can use for item storage. Anyways, there's plenty more to unlock at the Archer, including the scout sets, even more ranger and marksman sets in the future. Ladies and gentlemen, a quick reminder, I'm partnered with G Portal. So if you're still searching for a nice server to host and shroud it on, play together with friends, be sure to check out my ref link in the description down below. You will actually get a nice discount during checkout and during the process, you will even support the channel while you're at it. So I'd say a win-win, there is no catch. So already very much appreciate it. But let's move on to the next character, the Alchemist. So let's check him out. He can be found right there to the west of the ancient spire Springlands. 
This one is like 600 meters away from us. So once again, recommend it to fly as far as possible with your glider. So here we are. Be sure to keep your eyes open for treasure, especially when you enter the main or throne room, let's say. What I think is a nice way to go is to quickly check out the cellar right here, as this is where you can find, well, a wooden door with behind it a chest. But if you just run to the other side right here, this is actually where you can find a nice golden treasure chest with, wow, this time a legendary frozen core wand, GG. This will also trigger the spikes on the floor, which aren't that much of a big deal. Right now, though, what we want to do is basically run upstairs and unlock the alchemist. So, yeah, here we is, Awaken the Alchemist. This will also unlock the Apprentice set with Balthazar the Alchemist. Very nice indeed. If we interact with him, we also get access to a new quest and a wide variety of new blueprints. Most importantly, I think the Alchemist Apprentice set. This one comes with a pretty fancy wizard hat, but also other types of gear, which will give you mana regeneration, magic damage multiplier, and so much more. When you have Balthazar unlocked, you can also interact with him to convert Shroud Spores into a Shroud Core. I mean, I already have dozens of these in my base, so this is probably the easiest way to do so. But also Health Pots and Shroud Survival Flasks can be accessed from this character, so definitely an interesting one to get your hands on as quick as possible. Right now, we need to unlock two more craftspeople. The Carpenter and also the Farmer. These will only be accessible after you've completed a previous quest called Strengthen the Flame, for which we need this five resin, mushrooms, bones, shroud liquid, spark, and animal fur. Bam! Now the flame is level two, and our friends are gonna give us a couple more quests. So now we have access to two new quests, Growing Stronger Together, which unlocks the Farmer, and Carpentry Assistance, with which we get the Carpenter. So let's pick that one up first. Unfortunately, this Ancient Spire is pretty far away from it, as we basically have to get to that one, I think. So if we open up the map, this is, well, gonna be a little bit more efficient. Actually, we're gonna have to go exactly to that location. What I like to do is stay on this side of the lava river, let's say, as if you walk past it, there you can also find one of those corrupted trees. If you destroy that one, you get another free skill point, the Shroud Root. So let's check it out. There you go. We basically unlock a free skill point at this exact location, also pretty close to the ancient vault. From here, it's gonna be pretty easy to cross the lava. You just wanna jump from one island to the next, get on top of this platform, where you also have a free chest, so GG. Anyways, we're just gonna follow the road right here and continue to the east. This is where you can find the ancient vault of the carpenter, also at a shrouded location. So be careful for the timer, but I like to just instantly rush inside Wait a second, we have some bad guys after us, which we want to deal with first. So there we go. This is a pretty tricky location. I recommend you to take a one-hander, like a scythe or something else, because you have plenty of these smaller insects in the area. As you can see, they're pretty hostile, but uh, yeah, we just want to fly to the other side of the room right here. If you want, you can even skip them and just run across as they will not really follow you. Maybe just a couple of those. But you definitely want to deal with these as they can drop some shroud cores, which I think are amazing for all sorts of crafts. Arrows with some hits in the head are going to make it pretty easy for you. While right now we just want to advance to the end of the flame sanctum, basically. This leads us to the hourglass where we can reset the timer. And now we also want to get up there. The path is blocked right here, but it's a voxel game, guys. Just take out that pickaxe and start swinging. Voila, here we have him, the carpenter. If you interact with the box, we will unlock the scrappy rake and so much more. So now we gain access to a small magic storage chest for which you need a small chest, but also the shroud core. Trust me, guys, this is an amazing chest to craft gonna change your life forever. So we're gonna place it right here. 
if I say place my plant fiber in there, then visit the workshop, check out the manual crafting, I can still make these strings. Whatever you place in there will still be accessible. See, I also have all those wood locks inside. So this is an essential upgrade to pick up as quick as possible. But hey, we only have one more left. Again, be sure to pick up the quest from every single one of them. You will have plenty of those in your lock, which basically send you on missions to unlock the mortar, salt and other kinds of things, which are going to make these guys even better. But right now we want to focus on growing stronger together. The final NPC. So let's check it out. And this one, yeah, can be found in the northern part of the world. I think the ancient spire Springlands is going to be the best quick travel to get there. All right, so here we have it. Ooh, look at that. We even leveled up to four. Let's quickly check out our skills. Increase my ranged damage. There we go. And skill shots. Headshots are going to deal more damage. Very close to multi-shot right now. But as you can see, at the front gate, we're going to have to activate three buttons, which can be pretty tricky to find. I remember this being taking a little bit longer than expected, but um, let's check them out one by one. So first I decided to go downstairs and this is not really where you will find one, but it already gives you access to some other parts of this area. You should definitely first check out this golden chest underneath everything else. You will most likely find some pretty sweet loot in there as yeah, it's pretty easy to miss. But the next thing you want to do is find this grappler. Jump and interact and jump. This is the easiest way to use them. And right now you want to enter this room right here. So you want to sprint and jump. Do that twice to get across. And very important, you want to focus on your stamina right here. As it will deplete much faster than you think. We have a grappler right here as well. Which we can use and go to the treasure chest hidden right here. What's even easier is to just make the jump to the zip line and then jump down right here. Then we have to dodge these lightning balls, which is pretty easy. You just want to do a little bit of jumping, get across in no time. And then you want to interact with this first button right here. So you first want to jump on top of this thing, then jump on that one. And voila, this will bring us to our first checkpoint. This next jump or gap is pretty tricky. I remember failing multiple times because I didn't do it right. So I want you guys to do it right first try. Remember this, jump, interact, jump, interact, and then jump. Then it should be a lot easier. If you press interact to let loose, well, you're gonna mess up your interaction button and yeah, it's not gonna be nice. Same counts for when you run out of stamina, so if you get it done first try, let us know in the comments down below. But that was just for showcase purposes. So jump, interact, jump, interact, and voila, there you go. Anyways, let us know in the comments down below if you managed to pull it off first try, I'd love to hear. But this brings us to the next location. So right now we want to search for some more treasure actually. First you want to jump across right here, or actually we entirely forgot about this one right here. If you get up to the sunny side, this is where you should be able to find some more treasure. On the other side of the roof, you can also find something to interact with right here. And at the very end, that's where you will find your final button. Unfortunately, you won't be able to shoot this one. So you just want to run across and you can do a little bit of jumping to make this a little bit easier. Don't worry too much about the spiked floor, but that is basically it. How you can activate every single button. Let's also open up this one right here to get another treasure chest with a nice morning star. But now what we can do is just run to the other side and glide to the entrance. Very nice. Voila, the final craftsman or woman the farmer, which unlocks plenty more recipes as well. Before you quick travel away from this location, don't forget to run up the stairs right here and then turn around 180 degrees, jump, interact and jump to get across because right here you can find another hidden treasure room. There we go. Right behind it, you will find another chest and look at that. This time we found a sweet root stuff. This young lady will give us access to plenty more blueprints, also a new quest. 
bit if we start the crafting. You will have the seed beds as furniture right now, some farm soil, popcorn in the energy tab, which gives you some more stamina regen amazing crafts while right now you can also talk with the archer to unlock new recipes for the full marksman set now we have the ranger set the marksman set unlocked i think this is an amazing one to get your hands on looks really nice let me know what you think about it but for sure a cool one to use for early game all right, so there you have it. Everything you need to know to unlock all the four craftsmen, including some of the most important items in the game, like that magical storage chest, inventory upgrades, new types of ammo, and we found some nice treasure as well. I'd say you are now ready for a real adventure in a shrouded. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that like button. Already very much appreciate it. And yes, share your thoughts about the game in the comments down below. If you found even more treasure during the process, would love to know about that as well. Share it with the community. Of course, you are super welcome on our Discord as well. But yeah, there is so much more coming your way. So if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Have an awesome day. I'll check you in the next one. Peace.